guys back from the morning run. We're gonna have some pineapple po post morning run workout. Pineapple time. guy has a split little nail and I feel like a really bad mom right now because he won't eat he won't drink it just started last night and um, I think his nail is infected I saw it about a week ago when he was playing he split it and I just thought it was gonna heal itself you know like they would lick it they'd clean it but I didn't realize the split was as bad as it was it goes really up into like his actual the nail the bed part but he's not he's not doing good right now and I feel really bad he just wants to cuddle <laughs> holy me oh. yeah. <laughs> Is like his little uh, camo sweater. <laughs> While we're waiting for the appointment, I'm going to eat something because uh, I'm hungry. Pulled out some food. Enjoying the sun, huh? Beauty of uh, intuitive eating. I don't. I didn't measure. I didn't plan it. I just threw it together. I was like, this sounds good. Okay, we'll do this. We've got shrimp with the tail on. We got some garlic. Uh, green beans, sautéed in olive oil, some fresh tomatoes in there. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but it's good. Nutritious. Oh, don't eat me. I'm the last one. Oh, hello. I have quite the fan club here. Yes. How much did he weigh? 24.6 kgs, which... What was it? 24.6 kgs, which is like 52 pounds. Square for too. You're just a lean machine. Back at the bed again. You're just going to be the death of me, crew. Seriously. Some of you that don't know, um, about six, seven months ago, I think about, or maybe eight months ago, he was in the ICU for leptospirosis and we almost lost him. He was here for like two, almost two and a half weeks, something like that. So when he stopped eating his food last night, wouldn't even eat peanut butter, I knew, oh, oh, something's not right. I think it's just that nail. I hope that's, I hope it's just simple and an easy fix. Scabby under there. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Hands boy. Alright <laughs> okay, guys, just finished talking to the doctor and we did blood work just because of cruise history uh, and the blood work looked good. They, She also said that they do need to remove that nail which is, and they need to sedate him for it. I feel like a bad mom right now while I 
should have done something when I first saw the little split. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But I think just how crazy he is, it just got worse and worse. I guess the nail is not even attached to like his paw into the nail bed anymore. It's just like attached to the, the inner, the quick part, I think it is, they call that. And it's just like on there. So, and he's in a lot of pain. I guess they tried to trim it and he freaked out. He's a very tall, tolerable, good dog. And he freaked out. She said she couldn't even do anything with that. So she said, yeah, he's in a lot of pain. Um, so she, we're going to start with that. We're going to, we have to sedate him for it in order to remove that nail. And then she's going to check and make sure that nothing else is going on. No infections or anything. So the procedure is going to take at least an hour or so. And, but they do have to keep him for a little bit. So I'm going to run some errands while I'm waiting for that. Oh, baby. Oh, I love you. So broken because he's walking on it yeah. and everything. Now he's like, oh, you got your comb back on. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, you're eating. It's been almost over 24 hours since you had food. Can't go wrong with white rice and chicken broth, huh? <laughs> but I'm making some food. Uh, what I just did is I saute or grilled, oh, <laughs> grilled these on. The George Foreman, because uh, grilled mushrooms, portobello mushrooms are so good. And then I'm cutting up some stuff. This is what I'm doing. Some kiwi, some cucumber, I'm going to have avocado, tomato, some spinach. I just sauteed these onion rings, and then that's one of the portobello mushrooms. And I just cooked this one whole egg with little extra egg whites. Today, <laughs> you are just so precious, boy. Come here, <laughs> come here, my broken little foot, boy. Mm -hmm. So he is doing really good this morning. Come here. Sit oh, down. Oh, there we go. It's all booty. <laughs> you got to sleep with me last night in bed. Mm -hmm. You liked that, didn't you? Ugh. <laughs> I'm wearing HBF collection. This is the I will not give in, I will not give up uh, crew neck sweater. And uh, so coming up January 6th and 7th. That is a Saturday and Sunday. It's the LA Fit Expo. A lot of you are familiar with the LA Fit Expo. We'll probably be there. And a lot of you that aren't, if you're in anywhere near uh, the LA Convention Center, I will be there for the Fit Expo with Stan Supplements, of course. I'm going to have my own little section. I'm going to be having all my basically what's left of my clothing line there to sell so I will have pieces like this I will have my t-shirts I'll have the off the shoulder tops I'll have more sweatshirts um sizes will be limited it's just what I have left um but it's anywhere from size to size small to xxl so I will have some of them will be one size left some of them will have multiple so basically it's kind of like first come first serve what's whoever come gets there purchases something it's gone it's gone <laughs> but that means I'm only getting ready for a whole new collection in 2018. I am doing something completely new, and which is really going to be really, really exciting. So I've got to clear out everything that I currently have. But I am going to be selling my clothes there. I will be at the Stance Supplements booth. I will have that information posted for you guys when I get it. So check my Instagram, check Facebook, check Twitter for all of that. I will be posting that information, the times I will be there, the booth number, all that good stuff. Uh, Fiburn, we will be sampling Fiburn. Um, at the booth and I will be have signed posters as well so I will be there both days so you guys come out come say hi come say hi again I want to see you all take pictures you know do all the good stuff the fun stuff because that is coming up really really fast <laughs> it's gonna be crazy I'm very excited I'm very excited my hair looks like fire right now fire 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 just get it done <laughs> no roots staring at me <laughs> you are so cute I also wanted to touch base with you guys is there any of you that is currently using my fit plan app so that we have the 60 day challenge and the 90 challenge 90 day challenge if any of you are currently using that 
please leave feedback below. I want to know. I don't want, I'm going to check these comments. I want to respond to them. I want to see. I want your guys' feedback. I love the feedback because that's only going to help me better design and put together programs for the future that, to add to the, the Fit Plan app. If you aren't currently using it, try it out. Download the app try it out. I'm currently working on the nutrition portion of it. It will probably be, I'm, it's looking like summer of 2018, but that's, it's going to be a legit nutrition app. It's not going to just be this little rinky dinky little thing. It's going to be legit full nutrition app. Set up your meals, set up your days, know exactly how much you need with recipes. And the really cool thing about mine too is we're going to, as I make new recipes, seasonal recipes, all that stuff, I'm going to be just adding to it constantly. So it's not like it's just going to be, oh, this is all you get and that's it. It's just going to be a constant adding to it. That's why I love the Fit Plan app. So I'm really excited about that and why I have joined with Fit Plan app is because it's something that we can keep adding to it. We can keep progressing together on this fitness journey, on this journey of health together. It's not just a one and done thing. <laughs> so uh, check out the Fit Plan app if you haven't already. Um, I'm actually going to probably try to go, go get a little workout. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Probably something conditioning. <laughs> Something conditioning because I've got jujitsu tomorrow and the next day, and uh, so sometimes the double training days are really hard, they're really exhausting. So I like to days I'm not doing jujitsu get in my really intense weight training days, <laughs> but it doesn't always happen that way. <laughs> fresh, 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 fresh. All right, guys, enough rambling on, but make sure you just leave. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you haven't already shared the video. If you guys like the content I bring you, especially if you like the content that I bring you. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Mwah. Crew.